Did you watch the Grammy Awards the other night? Well, if you did, you saw many great singers and enormous talent. But there was one group nominated for a Grammy that no one saw. A group that not long ago knew nothing about making music videos and had never performed together. But Tom Jarrell shows us tonight they had an unusual goal. Prevent young people from following in their footsteps. How are they getting their message across? We'll let the music tell the story. It was the biggest night of the year for the music world. In downtown Manhattan, the limousines arrived with the performers nominated for Grammys. The evening was launched on a note of high fashion, excitement, and suspense. This was a showbiz happening. Peace, ever changing time. Everything is going so much faster. What a stark contrast only 30 miles away. Grammy Awards night was as bleak as the weather, damp and cold with low clouds reaching down to the tops of the old walls at Railway State Prison here in New Jersey. It's home for hardened criminals who are too dangerous to let out, even for a few hours to attend a gala ceremony in Manhattan, honoring their work behind wall. The leader of the lifers is convicted murderer Maxwell Melvin, who operates out of an office within the walls. Maxwell decided to take his youth awareness message to the TV screen with a rap video. His fellow lifers supported the idea. We have a message, and the rap tape is just a means of getting this message out. Here we go. And... Video documentary director Penelope Spheris joined the effort and brought in technical crews. Maxwell Melvin got busy lining up house talent. Only inmates could participate. It wasn't hard finding the talent. It wasn't a matter of talent. I just went to a small group of gentlemen that was in the prison, uh, kids that were into rap music, such as myself. I was into rap music. And I went to them. I asked them if they could define what everyday prison life was for them in here. At his prison office, Maxwell Melvin received the letter of his life. This is an invitation addressed to Maxwell Melvin that was addressed to me to attend a Grammy ceremony that's being held here at Radio City Music Hall in New York. And would you be there? I would have liked to have been there, but then again, I will be there in spirit. I'll be there. Time, live from Radio City Music Hall in fabulous New York City. Welcome to the recording industry's biggest night of the year. So when the big night arrived at Radio City Music Hall, there was great anticipation at Railway. The competition in their music video category included some of the giants of the recording business. The winning video featured Madonna. In prison, there was abject disappointment. I don't know, I just feel like a, a, a you know how a butterfly, you're like in an elevator, just feel like a down feeling, you know? Just became a bit of emotional about it. Hey guys, if you're watching, it's tough to beat Madonna. <laughs> Obviously, their life is, is, is one of despair, but they are trying to do something good, and they are. They certainly are, Barbara. The a program they have has a proven success record. Uh, prison officials from all around the world have come to copy it. Uh, they have literally reached face-to-face -face tens of thousands of kids, and this video will reach millions. And it's on sale in stores? It is, uh-huh. Yeah. Even though no new video will be made? No, it'll yeah. be this one. They won't take cameras in again, yeah. as far as we know. Where does the money go? It goes back to help the program. The men can't get any of it. They're trying. Right. They're trying to do better with their lives. 